Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons. This is the second video that I'm doing for my CAD tech Austin. He wanted to learn some C sharp programming. So what we're doing is we're building a, a triple store, which is a type of data, special type of database. Um, our our data our database is going to be uh, triple store is going to be uh, kind of cool. I think it's going to be uh, geospatially enabled right out of the box, and uh, it's going to be filled with cool graphical tools. So you're not going to have to use the command line to be able to run this. So it's going to be a little bit like Microsoft Access in that way. Okay, so in the first video, we set up Visual Studio, we started our project, we created our first class, which the first class is uh, just represents one entry in our triple store da database. This is kind of a, this is the text file version of, of what a triple store would look like, uh, stored to disk in a text file. Okay, so what we want to do in this video is we want to actually code the class that's going to hold those entries, right? So we're going to code what we call the triple store, right? A triple store holds triple store entries. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to core and we're going to add a new class, new C sharp class, and we're going to call this class triple store. Okay. And uh, this this triple store class is going to get a lot of functionality added to it, I think, as we develop the software. But what we want to do now is we want to just keep the code as simple as we can. Uh, and we want to wire it up as soon as we can to a graphical user interface, interface so that we can start to test our code by, by clicking buttons. We need to do some unit tests too, um, but for now, that, that's we want to just get this thing wired up to a, to a graphical user interface. Okay, now one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and, and make sure that we're using the same name namespace here. Okay, so we're going to come back into our triple store and we'll We'll change that namespace. Now, you guys, I don't know if you noticed, but now I have two classes open. I've got two tabs here in my main editor window on Visual Studio. Okay, so here's my class, my triple store class. Now, I want the simplest structure I can find to store triple store entries. Okay, and I think what I want, the type of structure that we want to use, so there's different kinds. Okay, you can use lists or sets or maps. Okay, and I think in this case, what I want to use is a map. Okay, so what a map does is it is it it's an efficient way to store uh, a set of, of of entities or objects where each entity has a unique ID, and so it's going to work really good for our triple store because we're, one of the requirements for each entry in the triple store is that the primary value be unique. Okay, but I have no idea what what I'm looking for. It's usually called a hash map or something like that. So I'm just going to Google it. Okay, so in C sharp, it's called a dictionary. Okay, so uh, let's see C sharp create a dictionary. So let's figure out how to do this. Okay, the dictionary T key T value class is a, a collection of keys and values. Okay, and it uses something called generics. I don't want to get into that super deep, but it just means you're going to tell the code what kind of objects are being stored in the dictionary. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. Okay, so we're going to make one private variable in our class. So this is, and it's going to be the dictionary for now, one private member variable. Okay, so we're going to call it, uh, we're going to say uh, private, uh, and then we're going to say dictionary. Okay, and then we want to store in our dictionary. Um, two things. We want to store the string that is the primary value of the entity. That's that's the unique value. Okay, and then we want to store um, we want to store the actual entry itself. So we're going to say triple store entry. Okay, and we're going to say arg. Uh, Entry. Okay. Okay, now it doesn't like something about the way I define that. Either one of these. Oh, you know why? Because it doesn't it doesn't take them. It does it just all we tell it is we're storing a string and a triple store. That's all we tell it. Okay. So then we want to give this dictionary a name. So I'm gonna say my Just to keep it simple, I'm going to say my entries. Okay. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if 
for now, all we want to be able to do is we want to be able to code a method that adds an entry to the triple store. Okay, now we, we later on we're going to want to add other methods like to delete entries and to see if an entry exists in the database. But for now, we want to keep this class just as simple as we can so we can wire up the, the graphical user interface. Okay, so what we want to do is we're just going to add one method here to add a triple store to the code, to the to the entry, to the triple store. Uh, add a triple store entry to the triple store. Okay, so we're gonna say, uh, we're just gonna go public. Sorry, I'm in, the, I'm in the wrong spot here. I'm outside my curly brackets. So we're gonna go here. So we're gonna say, this is public methods. Okay, I, I like to do my constructors first, so we'll, we'll come back and do a constructor. I like to do them above, uh, on top of the public methods in my file, public methods. Okay, so, <clears throat> What we want to do is add a method. So we're going to say public, um, and then method is going to be called add entry. Okay, and then we're going to take as an argument a triple store entry, arg entry to add. Okay, and then we're going to say uh, my entries dot add okay and what we want to add here is we want to add the arg entry to add okay the, but we want the string for the primary value so we're going to just call that right there my primary value okay and then we want to add the actual entry itself okay so here we're getting the we're getting the primary value the unique ID from the entry that, that we're passing in here to set that as the key for the dictionary okay and then we're adding the the entry itself okay so we're going to be able to look up entries in our dictionary using the unique ID okay now um, it doesn't like that it says I need to have a return type and I don't know why uh, hmm. so let's see so this is me learning C sharp okay so we're gonna just say C sharp method without a return value. Method with no return value. So let's see how we do that. Oh, void. I got to tell it void. I should have known that because that's a Java thing too. Okay, so we're going to put void here. Void is a keyword that just says this method doesn't give you back a value. Okay, so all it's going to do is add an entry. Okay, and actually I'm gonna change this a little bit. I want to return a Boolean uh, to let the um, let the user of the code know that that operation was successful. So we, we may wanna come back at some point and indicate if there was a problem adding the entry, uh, we, we may wanna um, indicate that, okay? So for now, we're just gonna return a Boolean value. Okay, so now we've got some code that need that uh, we, we have some code that will add an entry okay but we want to be able to display that entry we want to be able to, to display a list of all the entries okay in our graphical user interface so that after we add the entry we can know that it's in there that it's in the triple store so we're gonna do we're gonna do that we're gonna say so we're gonna create a method that returns a list of strings we're gonna see if I know how to do this in C sharp, and we're gonna say um, get keys. Let's call it, let's call it get entry uh, um, identifiers. So what we want to do is we want to return a list of all the keys from the dictionary. So we're going to say return my entries dot keys. Okay. And then it looks like it wants me to call to list. So we'll say to list. Okay. So we're going to get the keys and we're going to convert them to a list. And then we're going to return that. Okay. All right, so I think for now, that's all we want on our triple store. The class is going to be pretty simple. So here's the fun part. We're going to save this. We haven't unit tested anything yet. We need to, we need to put in some unit tests, but 
we're gonna save this and we're gonna come back and we're gonna try and wire up a really simple graphical user interface that lets us add a triple store entry to a triple store and see that it's there, okay? So that's gonna be our first graphical tool and we'll do that in another video. All right guys, thanks for watching.